Addressable LEDs are among the most popular optoelectronics devices used for stunning visual and color lighting effects. As an example, RGB NeoPixels by Adafruit Industries use SIPO, or Serial In, Parallel Out, and Shift Registers and a controller to manipulate three individual LEDs within the device and multiple devices in a NeoPixel array. Each NeoPixel contains a red, a blue, and a green LED, 24 shift registers, and a data latch along with control circuitry. To transfer data into the NeoPixel, the microcontroller first calculates how many bits to send. There are 8 bits per LED multiplied by 3 LEDs per NeoPixel multiplied by the number of NeoPixels. NeoPixels read voltage on the data signal line looking for a falling edge between rising edges while measuring the time between transitions. If the time between the last rising edge and the falling edge is greater than the time to the next rising edge, the result is a logic high, or 1. Conversely, if the time between the first rising edge and the next falling edge is less than the time to the next rising edge, the result is a logic low, or 0. As an example, WS2812B NeoPixels use specific time intervals to determine the highs and lows within a steady 1.25 microsecond pulse frequency. If the low time exceeds 50 microseconds, the NeoPixel initiates a reset. Consider three NeoPixels in a string. Each requires 24 bits to operate three LEDs. Although the WS2812B is considered a GRB device when programming, the actual data order is blue, red, then green. When the first 24 bits come through, the bits are transferred to the data latch. The processor removes the latched bits from the signal, which continues to the next NeoPixel. Now the first 24 bits to enter the second NeoPixel are the second set of 24 bits sent by the microcontroller. The process continues until all the NeoPixel latches are full. When signal transmission is complete and the reset code is sent, the bits are displayed after a slight delay. Sending another 72 bits of all zeros along with a reset turns all the LEDs off. Taking a closer look at the LED control, the 24 bits are read as three 8-bit sections. Each represents the value to be passed to the three LEDs. Values from zero, or off, and 255, or full brightness, are possible using the 8 bits of data. The data in the latch stays until the next reset. The LEDs display the last value in the latch even if the data signal becomes disconnected. The LEDs are closely nested in the NeoPixel, so combinations of LEDs appear as one color, with well over 16 million possibilities. NeoPixels require an external controller to calculate, assemble, and send the data. With this information, you may be able to create your own control library using a microcontroller fast enough to generate the waveform and with enough RAM to store all the pixel data. Regardless of the size of the array, from small to large, data is racing through shift registers to the appropriate LED, one bit at a time. There are different configurations of addressable LEDs that have different timing structures, and if including a white LED such as RGBWs, require 32 bits to fill each latch. Use the data sheet of a product to determine the specifics. For rapid deployment, consider a dedicated NeoPixel driver that removes the data generation burden from the microcontroller. Digikey Electronics carries development boards like the Adafruit Fade Candy that can do the heavy lifting. Make a custom addressable LED using the WS2811 driver and any selection of LEDs in the vast inventory of DigiKey Electronics. Want to watch more videos like this? Like and subscribe!